every year we have thousands of aspirants for the NMAT examinations and obviously they have several questions in their mind. Today we have with us the Dean of the School of Business Management NMIMS and the Vice Provost of Management Education Dr. Debashish Sanyal with us. Hello. Hello sir. At the very onset I would like to ask you that will the NMAT examination be any different from those in the previous years? The process is more or less the same. The only change is that last year students were allowed to apply for NMAT by GMAT. This year they first have to register for NMAT by GMAT. While they register they will get a number. That number they have to insert in the application of NMAT uh, for NMIMS and that number only if they write it on the NMIMS application then only they will be registered for NMIMS uh, admission. Dr. Sanyal, will there be any changes in the format of the examinations uh, compared to the previous years? No, there is no change actually, uh, same like last year. We have three sections, one is logical reasoning, one is quantitative skill and other is language skill. Okay. As far as logical reasoning is concerned, there, are, there will be 40 questions and you will be getting 38 minutes. Uh, quantitative skills, 48 questions, 60 minutes and language skills, you will get 32 questions and 22 minutes. Okay. So, are we planning to increase the number of intakes this year? The intake will remain more or less same. Uh, Mumbai campus for the MBA program uh, 500, for MBA HR program 60, Bangalore campus for PGDM program 180 and Hyderabad PGDM program 120. So, uh, the MBA program is known for its incremental changes in curriculum every year. Will there be any substantial changes uh, in the curriculum for 2017? See, uh, NMIMS uh, is known for making curriculum very contemporary. Right. So, we will keep on changing and we will change for the good as per the requirement of the corporate world. Okay. Now, last year like uh, uh, we had started a new concentration on business analytics. Again, uh, we started in a, a big way uh, industry led modules like Google is taking a course in our marketing area. Right. Similarly, KPMG is taking a course or understanding is taking a course in finance area. So, we, we have industrial model lot of them. Uh, we will make curriculum very contemporary so that uh, the relevancy of the students are maintained. Right. No wonder since the time ranking has started, NMIMS has held on to its position as one of the top 10 B schools in India. So, what according to you are the reasons behind it? Well, there are a lot of reasons behind it. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, our curriculum is always contemporary, always. We keep on making changes from time to time uh, so that we are at par with the requirement of the industry. Second, the intake. Say last year, more than 6,000 students applied for us. We have got a huge pool of students from whom we are allowed to get students. Third, the faculty. We have got a fantastic faculty and all the campuses, the, the, the faculty has been very good uh, and academicians plus industry, uh, people who have spent a lot of years in industry, they are teaching. So, we have both type of faculty which enriches the class discussion. The other thing which is there is the placement. Uh, we have never failed in placing the students, getting the right profile. Last year also we placed in record time all the students. In, uh, across campuses and another important thing is that Mumbai, Hyderabad or, or say Bangalore all are happening cities and so we keep on getting corporate leaders to come and speak to our student and exchange ideas with the students. So, all together we try to make it very uh, exciting for the students to stay over here. Plus my students uh, take part in a lot of competition, they win a lot of awards over the years. Like this year we won uh, HUL award, we, had, we stood first, Mahindra Mahindra, L'Oreal, you name anyone, we have, we have, we, uh, our students have got all of them. And from most of them we, uh, we get PPOs and PPIs. Like last year we got 205 PPOs, PPIs. So, it is a record number. In one of the rankings, our faculty has been ranked in number 5 over 5 as far as publication is concerned. So, altogether it has become a, uh, this has helped us to maintain our a position in the industry. Right. So, over the years the number of student intake has increased manifold. 
how have you been able to kind of maintain the placements uh, for the increased number of students? Being in Mumbai has helped us, to be honest. And our close relationship with corporate world is another important thing. There's not a single day that a corporate leader doesn't come and talk to my students. From one forum or the other, a person from the company, top leader from company speaks to my students, from one group or the other. One. Last year, if you see, about 200 companies came to pick up my students for MBA program. Wonderful. About 40 companies came for pick up my HR students, MBA HR students. We could not accommodate many more companies because my students were already placed. Of course, the profile didn't match in many cases also. But you name any big company, Goldman Sachs, HUL, ITC, ICICI, Asian Paints, JP Morgan, Almost every company comes to my So campus. the creme de la creme is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you offer the PGDM programs in the Hyderabad and Bangalore campuses. Are these programs government approved? And what is the placement situation in these campuses like? Oh, yes, they are both are government approved. Okay. Uh, both are AICT approved. And uh, the PGDM program in both the campuses is doing great. Yeah. And uh, we get large number of applications from where we choose from again. Bangalore campus is AMBA accredited already. AMBA, as you know, is one of the top three uh, accreditation uh, body of the world. Right. Uh, which accredits the quality of the programs. Hyderabad campus, we have moved the pa uh, papers. Okay. Uh, we have submitted a report, self-assessment report for AMBA accreditation. Hopefully, we'll get it. Uh, Bangalore campus had 100% placement. So also Hyderabad campus. Okay. The average salary every year is going up only. So yeah. both the campuses are doing extremely well. Wonderful. Uh, Dr. Sanyal, there is a bus that NMIMS is actually moving beyond Hyderabad and Bangalore. Would you like to share some details with us? Yeah, we are moving across the country actually. Uh, two campuses are coming up, one at Khargar, Navi, Mumbai, and another at Indore. Most likely the Indore campus is going to start it from 2017-18. Uh, is it? Uh, yeah. And uh, let's see if the progress goes well as per our plan, we should have uh, indoor campus going next year. Wonderful. That's great news for many students of NMIMS. Yeah, some more intake will increase. And Absolutely. We, if we start, we'll start at least with a batch size of 60. And finally, sir, would you like to share any tips for the NMAT aspirants for the current year? Well, as usual, I'll say that work hard for the next two, three months. Uh, October, the exam starts, so you have got a couple of months to study hard. It's lifetime opportunity. And the best part of NMAT by GMAT examination that you get three opportunities. Right. My suggestion will be as you register for NMAT by GMAT examination, immediately you do it for NMIMS uh, also. Because the earlier you sit for the examination, the more chances you can avail. So don't wait for the last moment to apply for NMIMS after you have registered for NMAT by GMAT. Because you, last year we found that some of the students forgot it and they were in a mess, we could not help them out. And if they are looking for all the three campuses, they should mention in the drop down that they want to uh, be considered for all three campuses. Okay. Because later on it becomes very difficult. You cannot add on campus later on. Okay. I'm sure this is going to help then Matt aspirants a great deal. Thank you very much, sir. My pleasure.